Ladies and gentlemen, this is a card that I really love, I really enjoy, and I think you need to collect very badly. Fine. I'm gonna show you my fucking my <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be showing you my top cards of my entire collection. Now I've been collecting less than a year, so beg with me, I don't have much, but don't look yet, don't look yet. Some cards I think some cards I think that you should collect because, not because necessarily because they're valuable, but because they're gonna be rare with time. Um, and you know, with rarity, obviously things do go up in price because if people want that thing and there's less of that thing, the price goes up. For now, I'm gonna be showing you my top cards. If you look at my beautiful display case, now only the best cards go in here, AKA Charizard. We got the Rainbow V Max, which is the second most valuable. This is the first valuable, most valuable. This is the alternative art. The Arceus and Cynthia card, because it's a rainbow card, so I decided to put it in there. The best cards go in here just for display purposes. First binder ever collected. What do you think the first set I ever collected is? It was Shining Fates. And now in my ever first box, I pulled the Eternatus of VMAX. I, a bunch of shiny cards. Basically, I wasted my time by putting all these common cards in here. I later learned that I will never be doing that again. Celebrations. I don't care what you think about celebrations, because celebrations makes me happy. It's the only thing I ever pull anything from. Pikachu. How can you be mad, Pikachu? Just luck. That's a lot of Pikachus. That is a lot of Pikachus. You know why there's a lot of Pikachus? Why? Because Pikachu is cool. And not only that, there's I have duplicates of like almost every single card in here. This, though I didn't plan on adding it, needs to be a set you need to collect. Collect the Pikachu box. This is one of the coolest cards, cards as in multiple cards, that you will ever get in, I think personally, in a long time. Because it's incredibly unique. You have every single Pikachu art, I think since the beginning of Pikachu, I think since the beginning of Pokemon in general. The, each Pikachu is a different artist. Honestly, that's amazing in my opinion. I think that's incredible. I'm actually gonna be getting another Pikachu box just because I love this art. We got all these we've been collecting. Got the Gold Star Umbreon, if you're wondering. So of course we got the Gold Star Umbreon. We're get, you know collecting all the trainer cards. We got the Dark Gyarados. We don't have the Magikarp. And I know everyone's gonna say it. Yes, still missing Charizard, even from this set. Can't get a break of not getting a Charizard. So on and so forth. Got this. Apparently it's one of the hardest cards to pull in the set. But also seems to be one of the worst cards you could ever pull in the set because it's garbage. And then we got some Mewtwo. We got the Xerneas. Garchomp. Garchomp's obviously cool. I believe I have two of these. I do somewhere. I don't know where the other one went. Here's that promo card I was talking about. They're always hating on promo cards. Promo cards are amazing and they're cool and they're fun. Right here is my main binder. It's where all the good cards go. And good cards, I mean just all the cards I don't want to sort into their own set. I did that with Shining Fates, and then I stopped immediately. This is where all my freaking EV evolutions are going to go. Eventually, these will be removed. Um, more V cards. Again, this is mostly just throwaway. Not throwaway, but you know. Oh, and this card too. This is actually from Legendary Treasures. This is an older card, but it isn't worth very much. Very cool card though. Probably one of the best Reshiram cards out there, if not the best. Gold cards I'm starting to collect, by the way. Just got this one by one of the rarest ones in the set. Here's more Pikachus for no reason. This is a really sought after Vivid Voltage, so very cool. But you guys are not here for my collection. You're here for the cards you want to collect, the cards that you should collect. And when I mean cards, I mean pretty much one singular card that I think you should get. So a promo card that I actually do think you should get. This is a very cool promo card. It's the Stained Glass from Hidden Fates ETB. Are you ready for the most singular and best card that you should collect, in my opinion? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a card that I really love, I really enjoy, and I think you need to collect very badly. That is the Ancient Mew card. By any means, yes, this is a card that you can get tomorrow. This is not a very expensive card. But the thing about this card is that it's rare in the sense because this has never been in a set. You can't buy packs to get this. You can't buy booster boxes, elite trainer boxes. You can't buy any of that to obtain this card. The only way you could ever get this card throughout history was if you went to the movie theater in 1999 and watch opening night, the Pokemon movie. That is the only way you can obtain this card. For it being a card from 1999 and still being from something that you can't get from packs, it's still relatively cheap. You can get it for a good price, but here's the reason why I say to get it. As time goes on, most people are not gonna even know what this card is. Like at first glance, most people will not know this is a Pokemon card. It's a really goofy looking Pokemon. It doesn't even say Pokemon on the back. This is what it says on the back, nothing. 
It says nothing. And I would buy the sealed ones. I wouldn't even buy just the open ones like this. This one's a good condition. So it's a very good condition card. It has absolutely no issues that I can see of. Either way, that's all I have to put. This is a filler episode for the channel because we have some crazy stuff coming out soon. Because I don't do Pokemon videos, but I just wanted to give this advice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.